Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, I'm Bo Jin Jin. So how about my voice, is it clear? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, it's clear. Yes, yeah, it's clear. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'm Bo Jin Jin from uh, LSU Health Science Center, uh, Shripo. My topic is modeling neurological diseases using patient-derived neurons. We already talked about a lot about the neurological diseases, including uh, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. These kind of diseases are a big challenge worldwide. Unfortunately, no cure for this disease because the pathogenesis is not clear. For neurological diseases research, there are some challenges and also limitations in current model system. Most widely used are rodent models. Uh, that's an excellent model to find a mechanism, but there are some limitations because species-dependent differences exist. Animal model only mirror a limited aspects of has a physiology of a human disease. Some patient brain tissues, uh, that's a very valuable samples, but the sample quality also limited our research. Like we cannot use this kind of uh, sample to do some biochemical work to identify dysregulated genes, proteins, or pathways. So in neurological uh, disease research, we really urgently need live patient-specific neurons for disease modeling, drug screening, decipher the pathogenic mechanism. So in my lab, we have developed two approaches to modeling some disease. Uh, this approach already talked about a lot, like uh, induced the pluripotent stem cells-based uh, method. Patient like skin fibroblasts introduced with Yamanaki factor generate the iPSC. iPSC can specifically differentiate it into a patient specific neurons. Depending on the disease, we can generate specific neural subtypes to modeling particular diseases. Another approach called the direct conversion. Direct conversion still using antiviral vector deliver transcription factors, directly convert the skin fibroblast into particular neuron subtype. This direct conversion without the iPSC state. So, so these uh, two approach are excellent to generate uh, uh, patient-specific neurons. iPSC approach can generate a large amount and cell cells, but direct conversion can keep aging features from the donor. So that's the excellent material for modeling age-dependent diseases. Now I give you an example. We're using patient-specific neurons uh, to model a movement disorder called dystonia, DYT1 dystonia. Dystonia is a movement disorders. DYT1 dystonia is a subtype of a disease. This disease uh, specifically caused by the gene mutation in human tau one a gene. Basically, the heterozygous of GAG deletion in exon 5 of tau one a gene. So tau one a gene protein uh, and the physiological condition, this protein localized in the ER membrane and the inner nuclear membrane. That's the nuclear membrane. They play important role together with the cofactors in nuclear envelope budding. That's basically our uh, mRNAs and the proteins communicate between nucleus and the cytoplasm need the cross nuclear membrane. So tyrosine play important role to control the transport. That's the hypothesis of the function of this protein. Either modeling the nuclear envelope, 
uh, and the nuclear membrane protein remodeling, even the nuclear power complex biogenesis. That's the nuclear power complex is the gate of the transport. But how this uh, protein can repeal this disease is not clear. So we collect the patient cell lines, four patient cell lines. We verify this patient caused by a specific gene mutation in TOR1A gene, and also have a healthy and sex match the healthy controls. First, we're using direct conversion method to generate the patient-specific motor neurons to see any change compared to control. So this is a protocol we already published. We deliver a full transcript factor to patient fibroblast. During culture, the cell morphology gradually changed into neuron-like cells. We can culture several weeks, even several months, to await the neuron fully maturation. We verify the cell uh, neuron identity with a specific marker like uh, HB9, that's a nuclear marker for early stage uh, motor neurons. At the later stage, uh, these neurons highly express the chat, calling ACT transferase, that's a specific marker for cholinergic neurons, including the motor neuron, and also have a presynaptic marker and electrophysiological maturation, firing. So this is a typical reprogrammed human motor neurons. We know the motor neurons have a very long axon, have dendrites. This is the quantification about conversion efficiency compared control and the disease. They have a similar efficiency. This is the first approach. Another approach, we generate the patient iPSC. Then using iPSC, uh, we generate the progenitor cells, then further differentiate into uh, motor neurons. Meanwhile, we're using uh, genetic editing technology to correct the specific mutation to generate the isogenic controls. So recently we organized this set of iPSC uh, one, we generate a specific mutation from one type of iPSC. Another set, we correct the patient specific gene mutation to generate the isogenic controls. All these iPSC cell lines have been verified at the sequencing, uh, pluripotency, embryonic body, and the different markers. And they are able to differentiate into a three uh, germ layers to uh, demonstrate the this cell line, the quality and the capability for further differentiation. Then we use this IPLC, we develop the, the protocol to generate the highly pure motor neurons. This protocol already uh, published in our recent uh, papers. So this long protocol have uh, several steps, basically, from iPSC, we generate the motor uh, progenitor, then deliver a specific uh, transcript factor to generate the specific uh, neural subtype. So this is the protocol. Uh, this is the iPSC morphology. This is the neuron progenitor morphology. After deliver a specific uh, transcript factor, those new, uh, neuron progenitor cells will gradually change their morphology and the gene impression profile with a specific motor neural marker. So using iPSC, we can generate uh, uh, the purity more than 90%, also with a, a good, very good yield. And we also optimize the reprogramming condition with three factor or four factor, different combination of factors. We optimize this condition. So Using this method, we can generate the highly pure and enough material for the following biochemical uh, research, like uh, ion sequencing or protein mix study. So for this patient, once we 
got this patient-specific neurons, we try to examine the changes at the cellular and the molecular levels. Because this torsion protein play an important role in the nuclear envelope morphology and the transport. We first to measure the transport, nuclear cytoplasm transport for both RNA and the protein. This uh, fish fluorescent in situ hybridization. We're using oligo DT probe. The DT probe will bind poly A2 of mRNA. So this is the negative control. If a sample digests the RNA, remove the uh, mRNA, we cannot detect the signal. If we're using oligo DA probe, also no signal. Only DT signal, we can see this the whole tree is the stained nucleus. This is the map two is the neuron marker to highlight the neuron morphology, the soma. This oligo DT probe in white type control you can see the majority of MRI in the cytoplasm. But in the disease, we can see substantial MRI signal accumulate inside nucleus. This indicate the MRI exporting from nucleus disrupted. Another approach we're using a uh, Dual reporter, GFP fused with nuclear export sequence and RFP with uh, fused with the nuclear localization sequence. Using this reporter, if the transport works well, you, we will see the RFP enriched inside nucleus. GFP will be inside the cytoplasm. If we transport the messy up, you, we can see the distribution of green and uh, red color mass. So in, this is the uh, nucleus. In control, we can see GFP and RFP separate very well, but in disease, we can see these two uh, reporters distribution mess up. That indicate that under this uh, disease condition, both MRI transport and the protein transport disrupted. Another interesting finding, we found the nuclear morphology changed in disease, the neurons. We can see what type is mostly regular uh, circle of in what type neuron, but here have a lot of angles. The most interestingly, we measure the nuclear envelope by nuclear lamina, lamina B1. In control, this is the nuclear protein localized inside the nucleus. But in the disease, this protein mislocalized. We, we saw a uh, strong signal in the dendrite axon. So this uh, quantification, uh, this uh, mislocalized line B1 progress accumulated in disease the neurons. We also examined the nuclear morphology using TEM. This is the uh, other uh, uh, IPSC and the progenitor stage, no big difference. This is the Y type, we can see the double linear uh, uh, here, this nuclear pro complex. But in the disease, we can see the morphology is uh, disrupted, deformed the nucleus. Also thinking the nuclear lamina, the electrode dense. So based on this uh, finding, we present a model about DYT1 dystonia. In healthy neuron, the nuclear transport is normal. MRI mainly exported to a cytoplasm for protein synthesis. But in disease, the nuclear lamina disrupted, nuclear morphology uh, uh, disrupted in disease neurons and uh, the transport for both protein and MRI disrupted. So that's, we can see accumulated MRI inside nucleus and uh, some protein mislocalization. So uh, currently we, uh, we also try to develop a protocol to test the other neuron type. This the uh, spontaneously differentiated uh, neurons from IPSC. This is a mixture. We, we didn't uh, use any transcript factor, just let the IPSC progenitor differentiate into neurons. And another way we try to generate uh, 
uh, more cholinergic neuron, like uh, cholinergic uh, interneurons. This is the typical motor neuron. We, we generated the soma very long axon, but uh, cholinergic interneuron is the more complex, uh, highly branched, and uh, the size, the soma size is larger. So we are continue working on, we uh, hope to see if this phenotype, like a mislocalism B1 nuclear transport disruption is general or have a neuron specific in the and the disease condition. Meanwhile, we generate a large amount of cell to do ion sequencing and the protein work to identify dysregulated protein factors and the signaling pathways. Okay, here is the uh, summary. So the generation of patient-specific neurons can overcome the limited access to patient brain tissues, providing an unprecedented approach for disease modeling. Patient-specific neuron could be generated by two methods, a direct conversion or iPSC-based approach. Different, different neuron subtype could be generated by uh, uh, deliver different uh, reprogramming factor. For the disease, we are working on DRT1 motor neurons. We recapitulate, uh, recapitulated the disease-dependent cell deficit, including the morphology change, development change, nucleus cytoplasm transport change. We also identify mislocalized nuclear proteins. This kind of defect may contribute to the pathogenesis of this disease. Lastly, I want to uh, thank my lab members, my graduate students. Masuma did a lot of cultural work. My postdoc, Masu, he developed uh, another uh, project. Hao Chen did a lot of molecular cloning and other lab members, and also the funding from Department of Defense and the NIH. Uh, thank you all for your attending. Now I can take your questions.